a horde of the men of Dunland and Dol Guldur march upon the dwarves in their mountain passes. But the dwarves of Erebor will hold strong. What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with some more Rise of Mordor for you today. As I already mentioned, we have two uh, hordes of Dunland and Dol Guldur facing down an army of Erebor. We have a 2v1 here today. This is sent in by a member of the Discord. And apparently it's an excellent, very close battle. And this is on uh, one of the like newer maps that isn't like on the on the uh, on the actual mod. It's on the ultimate uh, map uh, collection or something like that. It's, uh, it's just like a sub mod almost. But it's got loads of other maps on it, and it looks really cool. I mean, you can see here there's like um, this mountain pass leads to a, a little gateway over here. I mean, the dwarven uh, gates, like hidden gates, and uh, I guess you have to say. The word friend to be let in um but yes yeah, so, i mean this is is we've got lots of little outposts ready and second lines of advance like second and third lines of defense but uh this first line is looking the most dangerous if they break through this they're probably going to uh well probably win i mean you can see they've got like artillery all the way up here on this nice little ledge and we've got uh, some crossbows here who are firing i actually got a nice angle here look at that angle they're firing down on uh, I think this is down on some archers who are trying to trying to get a good angle, and then you can see already those archers are breaking. I think, yep. And we've got some more tribal hunters getting ready. They're going to fire onto the next line. Looks like they might. They're going to fire fires and stuff like that. But we also have javies over here already firing as well. Some uh, tribal youths throwing javies, taking out a few spear guard here and there. Not too many. Only two have died. And then we've got, uh, what have we got here? We've got Merc with trackers of Dol Guldur. Let's have a volley. A volley. Orcs. There's some fire arrows going off. We're going to have another volley from these lot. Maybe not. But if you've been enjoying all the Rise of Mordor content at the moment, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As it's always appreciate all the support and guys are great at the moment with their all your likes and comments etc. So uh, keep it up. That's all I can say. All I can say is keep it up. And we can see here we've got some more of the elites. So I've got Dunherd uh, swordsmen back here. These guys with their chainmail and like their curved swords, and they've got the like, Urukai shields because they get given like just anything from Isengard, any scraps I, from Isengard they get. And like the Dunherd chosen, I'm pretty sure are kind of the same. Oh no, not the Dunherd Chosen. And so there's another unit that they've got that's like can bring a. Uh, which is like got sh uh, Urukai armor, but I can't seem to find it. Who knows where it is? But uh, I mean, you can see here the dwarves are massively outnumbered. There's about 11,000. Well, there is uh, 11,000 men and uh, orcs of the evil factions against about 4,000 dwarves, just under 4,000 dwarves. So it's going to be a brutal, brutal defense. And uh, But these dwarves are elite. But they will have a, a stern match against them. I mean, these Dol Guldur, Orcs Dol Guldur, with their pikes, is going to be a real issue. They've got phantoms here that don't break. This is a mass of troops in here. And you go, the phantoms are coming forward first by the looks of it. These are uh, almost like whites. They are basically. With spears, and there's another. They haven't brought any of the uh, the sword variant by the looks of it. Or well, maybe they have, and they're just further back. No, I'm gonna say they haven't brought any. The wraiths, no, none of the wraiths are there. Oh no, they are. They're right at the back of the map. Right at the back. But yeah, as I mentioned, this is sent in by a member of the Discord. If you'd like to do the send in, uh, do the same and send in your own uh, battle replays, or just take part in some battles, uh, then join the Discord. It's in the link down below. Always welcome to have new people there. We're over 200 members now on that Discord. So there's plenty of people that are there and ready for a game. So definitely come and stop by and uh, have a have a what? Oh, not have a watch. Come and play. Definitely don't just come and watch. I don't know what you'd be doing if you were watching on a Discord. Uh, but it looks like they're getting ready to charge. And the men of Dunland are getting ready. And this is a very... Uh, it's quite a long uh, battle. But I'll be sure to fast forward bits and cut bits out if there's a bit of uh, dead, uh, dead space. But we look like right now we're about to prepare for the first assault. There's the tribal youths are going to send in these tribal youths, tribal warriors, maybe in some Dunherd swords. Look like they're going to get ready. Take on a, only one single unit spear guard of Irebor, which can definitely flank around. Oh, and we've got fire arrows coming in. 
Fire arrows coming in to just lower that morale a little bit more. And you can see there, there's a host of wild men. Here they come, the wild men of Dunland. In they go, the officer leading the way. And now the dwarves are going to try and hold the line. And fire is, I think, coming up ahead from the uh, Dunland Arch. Is the depleted Dunland Arch there at the back of the uh, at the back? But look at, I mean, these dwarves are. Oh, I was about to say he's a brave man, just standing up there taking on like so many Dunland men of Dunland, but he's dead. He can't really uh, be brave anymore. He's he's long gone. You imagine uh, these spear guards of Erebor, I mean, they already lost about 20 men, so maybe they won't last too long. But they're also attacking on this far side now. We've got archers really, really close to the front line. It's a bit bizarre, but we've got uh, phantoms in here already. And, I mean, look at the state line that's ready. got their defenses ready of the dwarves. Now we've got pikes of Dol Guldur coming up. And they should force back the uh, spear guard because I don't think they can. They've got any response to these pikes. Not really. I mean, they hit, they're going to march up now. No, they're not. They keep edging forward. But yeah, I mean, the pikes. Uh, the dwarves only have pikes in the sub mod. They don't have any in the main mod, which is what uh, they're using here today. Using the main mod. R2 uh, buildings or Rome 2 buildings uh, and the ultimate map collection mod. But look at that blob of orcs in there and ghouls waiting. And it is going to be a bit of a grind. It's just. There isn't much more to it. But I do enjoy coming back to this mod every single time to see all the different races and I can't wait until they get a campaign up for this thing and there is going to be a campaign. I get a lot of questions asking, oh has this game, has this mod got a campaign? Has this, uh, or when's it getting a campaign? And I'm like, I don't know why you guys just don't enjoy playing multiplayer for this. It's, it's such a good thing to play multiplayer for. It doesn't need to play a campaign. Why would you want to play a campaign when you can just do battles constantly? But, uh, but yes, it is going to get one, is what I can tell you. It's just a long way. It's very hard to... Oh, it's very hard to mod, and uh, it's not the first thing in the pipeline. They've got all the other factions they want to do first. And this is definitely pulled through in here. These phantoms have uh, definitely pulled through to do this. So uh, that's a bit cheesy from the Dol Guldur player. I mean, he's losing men or losing phantoms for doing this. But it is kind of just making the Spear Guard of Erebor's defense kind of impractical. And I mean, they've already lost about 400 men, and the Dwarves lost about 100. And you can see arrows flying over now. Yeah, you can see these Phantoms are just getting in behind. They should just send forward the, uh, spe the next line of Spear Guards. Thicken the line. These guys just remind me of like just mummies from like any sort of film, like any Hollywood film, or just like the uh, or the soul or like the dead soldiers of like a mummy's uh, like a mummified army or something like that. I don't know, but they just yeah they remind me very much of like well they are dead already, so I guess I can see where the mummy sort of like idea comes from. But yeah, so bizarre. I just love the officer as well for every single dwarven unit. It's the same officer. And it's just you, the unit of the, it's the Grim Hammers, and it looks so good. And these pikes are only just about getting in there. They're still attacking, like, they're, just, they're getting held up by, like, these one or two lone dwarves over here. And there's another one that just got knocked down there. Look at this guy. Absolute mad lad going in deep, fighting some uh, Dol Gordor forces. Let's have a look and see how Dunland's doing. Dunland's not really making much of a dent. He's killed a fair amount of these spear guards, but I mean, 
the bodies are piling up for Dunland here. And soon there will be a small mountain to get over here. They're, they're trying to get through the mountain pass already. And they're forming more mountains themselves with the piles of dead bodies. Yeah, I mean, these, these tribal warriors are pretty uh, trash, as are the tribal users. They're not going to break through the, uh, the solid armor of these spear guard here. So, there you go. They're breaking now. And they're sending up more tribal warriors. More trash to get chopped down. And we've got some Dunherd swordsmen over here. And we've got some Dunherd chosen. Wow, they are really throwing the stuff in here. And they're also, uh, well, I wonder if they're going to send some of it into this choke point. Because surely they would. Tribal use now throwing javis. They're trying to take out these spear guard, but these ones are a bit more spread out, and I guess, like, they're further away, I don't know. But these Javis are just not doing the same damage that they did to the other unit. Look at that, just bouncing off the armor. These, <laughs> just look at all these Javis in their shield. Yeah, oh, there's one first guy dropped there. Or a couple are dropping now, there's about three or four dead. I mean, these, what's happened to these crossbows? Though? They really need to get move, They need to get back in position and start firing. But yeah, I don't know what's happening here, but that's kind of what happens with the, the joys of Attila. Uh, these things bug. So, I mean, the, these hopefully they can sort themselves out. I think it's just the map, or maybe they would, like, give them the order to attack a certain unit, and they're trying to desperately do that. I don't know. But there we go. The dwarves are breaking. This is because they pulled through, I think, earlier. Well, and they send in shock infantry now. They send in dull go uh, gold or glaives. And uh, this artillery crew still, I mean, it's still got ammo, but has it got any onages? No, they're all taken out. Wow. So that's a huge hit for the dwarves. They only managed to take out one of the onagers themselves. But, because, I mean, this will be a great, great blob to be fa focusing down with uh, artillery. This is a huge blob of dull door forces. But there's a big gap now in the line here. I mean, they need to reform the line. But the reserves are now up. And yeah, these pikes are just going to be an issue. The constant issue for the uh, Dwarves of Erebor. Don't know how they're going to deal with it. They're now battling out of these reserves. And the officers in combat... And they're falling back. They're celebrating of the uh, are the uh, forces of Dolgal Dor and they're yeah because I think the dwarves are going to try and fall back with these two units. This unit here might be uh, sub staying alive, but I mean they've got the next defense ready. I mean they've got so many swords ready, and they've got a nice position with these crossbows here. That's a really nice position. Anything that comes down here, it's just going to get shot up straight away. And yeah, I mean these crossbows here. I think they're falling back so to give these crossbows as many volleys as possible when uh, they just try and charge across this open plain. But I mean, yeah, these crossbows here are going to be in a really nice position. So clearly, Dolgaldor is making more of an advance than Dunland, which I kind of expected anyway. But yeah, they've kind of actually stopped on this side and they're going to go like heavy here. And these dwarves of Erebor are losing decisively. I think because the Dunlands chosen are in here. But they're big axes. You can see here, I mean, yeah, they're, they're going to chop through lines. And, and they're setting in some Axe Warriors now, some Erebor Axe Warriors. And they'll certainly help bolster the defense here. There you go, a nice thick line of dwarves. And yeah, the Dunland armor just reminds me of almost like the Viking sort of armor as well, like the full like male mask almost going on, or, like male armor over the face almost. You only got like the tiny little slits between their eyes of some of them. Looks really, really good, and obviously they're really like they're all got beards because they're wildmen. And I, <laughs> I just can't get over the amount of like how many dwar how many wolves must they have killed to get like this is a sea of wolf heads. Like, there must be no more wolves now in Dunland, because they've had to kill every single one to ornate their helmets.
But I mean, yeah, I mean, now it's, I think, yeah, both even now. They've, so those swords coming in have stabilized the uh, situation there. And I mean, and now we've got Dunlan Herdman losing, more Herdman here losing. It's the Chosen and another unit of Herdman holding on. I mean, yeah, if you, yeah, these crossbows are firing again, which is really good. Are they firing? I think they're firing into the back of everything here, which is why they want to hold here so desperately. This is such a good angle. And yeah, these crossbows are just firing in occasionally, not really in volley, into the back of everything there, getting a couple of kills. And yeah, they're now breaking the, with the tribe warriors there. And then back on this side, I mean, they're still having to hold on to a little bit. This tower should be firing as much as possible. Is it 92% fire damage? Jeez. But they should certainly be firing as many volleys as in. I'd be firing at the back of these uh, gold or glaives right now. Killing as many of those guys as possible. Our men are rallying. They're not done yet. But I get another unit of crossbows up on this uh, hill here. Just ready and reserved when you. Because you're going to burn through all the ammo there in the time that you're holding here. They need to hold here as long as possible because I don't know if there's many or many more options for those really good flanking shots. There isn't actually. There might no, there isn't one over there either. So those are the, like that one there, and this one on the opposite side. They need to hold for as uh, well as long as possible, so they can just burn through as much ammo as possible with these uh, arable crossbows, which are now starting to fire a bit more regularly in this blobbed up formation that they've got going on. And yeah, they're firing like quite r rapidly into the back, and they're just dropping all these Dunherd swordsmen here. But the, uh, it looks like, no, I was, I keep thinking that the uh, dwarves for some reason are in the yellow, but they're not. But yeah, a lot of their units are starting to lose now, and they're under fire. They're not happy. I and mean, they've got plenty of reserves though. Look at the amount of sheer reserves they've got. They've got so many javis ready as well, tribal youths ready to come up. And do uh, throw some jabbies into the air or axes and uh, spears that await them. We've got more Dunherd swords. And we've got all these uh, siege towers here, but they don't need them. It's it's technically a siege map, but you don't actually need these siege towers. And it's same same again with Dolgo Dot. I mean, Dolgo Dot's actually probably got the freshest army. I don't think he's even, even lost a unit yet. But, yeah, they're now firing. They're having a skirmish off. We've got two units of crossbows here. Focusing down these Merc with trackers. I mean, that's kind of a waste of ammo for uh, for Erebor, really. These guys aren't that great. You could probably not really worry about them too much. But they, they'll have to obviously use ammo on taking them out because they will shoot otherwise. And they'll do some damage to these thick uh, Dwarven armor, but not too much. I can't wait to see how many kills this, like this unit here gets, for instance. It's going to get so many. And they got this spear unit back. That's great. But, I mean, they really just need to keep it down there. Just ready for the next line. Keep as many dwarves as possible. Just to s give these guys as long as possible to fire. But, yeah. I mean, imagine being one of these dwarves down here as well. You'd just be like, oh, God, there's so many are coming. And you can just see the pikes in the background and the long swords. Oh, they, uh, of the gold or glaives. I thought they were going to fire all the way at the top, but I don't think they're going to. Yet, these ones here are now starting to fire. I think as well. Yeah, they they did give a volley and routed these Merkle trackers here. So, I mean, there you go. The stern defense for this area is going to begin. The first units being sent up some gold or blades, like the classic Dol infantry. I mean, they're already losing a few. They're dropping. Look at that officer. We march for Sauron on the Necromancer, which is the same thing. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, it looks like they're going to send up some more Chosen here. They're going to try and take on this unit. This unit on its own, I mean, they could probably take out that small unit of Erebor uh, Spear Guard. But they've got a lot of bodies around them. They have killed a lot of Dunland men themselves, this unit. But they've lost about half their strength. Or just, uh, just under half their strength. And I'm ready for this charge. The officer gives the order. Oh, he's waving his sword. Yeah, yeah. Just got to wave my sword. Look impressive. And there you go. They threw axes. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. I mean, most of them went into the ground there. But, yeah, I did not realize those Dunn had chosen threw axes. I don't think any of them actually connected with the single dwarf. But, yeah, there we go. They didn't really get a charge off. They kind of just walked forward into the formation. I wonder if they were throwing axes at this unit back here. They're still throwing axes.
Or I wonder if it's these guys. Do they throw... Oh, here we go. This is the unit I was on about. The Blood Avengers. They basically have Urukai armor. They are mu look basically like the Urukai. I think these guys are throwing axes as well. And these Blood Avengers are even worse than the Chosen. And they're going to get a proper charge off. And they should take out the dwarves a little bit quicker. Hopefully these dwarves uh, can hold. I mean, I don't know whether they will. Yeah, it was too shocking to me here. I do not see these guys holding. They're going to have to send forward the reserves here to uh, give themselves a chance. Because they need to hold this side as long as possible. So again, allow this airborne crossbow to burn through ammo. It's routing stuff right now. It's doing a lot, a lot of damage. These two units are wavering. I mean, this one's going to go, this Dunhurst Swords. And it's just going to leave a pretty depleted unit of Dunhurst Chosen. So this whole force here... It's going to be annihilated. So that's really good for the dwarves. Um, but not so good for the uh, attackers, obviously. I mean, they've lost about 2,000 men now. And the dwarves have lost about 700. I mean, that's quite a lot for those. Oh, I don't know if they should have done this, though. They should not have done this. They should not have gone out and started fighting. And, like, should not have broken their lines. But they have. And they've broken their lines because they're trying to go in... And do as much damage and flank as possible, I think. The gold or blades there. Forming like a their arrow formation to try and break these uh, arable axes formation. But no, it's not happening. I mean, they're losing hair of these uh, gold or blades. Because they're getting focused down here by these crossbows. These crossbows are doing annihil uh, annihilating this unit here. They're doing some really, really nice work. I mean, there's a lot of bodies on there, but that's a pretty depleted unit as well of Axe Warriors. They've, like, taken up a lot of units. And I think they're just trying to do this because they don't want to fight in a solid line again because that goes in favor of the Pikes. If they don't break formation, the Dwarves, the Pikes don't have to break formation. But, I mean, they need to start focusing down with the crossbows. Like, all that crossbow ammo needs to now get dedicated to the Pikes, and I think that's what they're going to do. I think that's the, now the new order. These pikes need to be focused down. I mean, they need to focus them down with all the archers, really. I mean, they're losing here as well, these gold or blades. Like a gold or blade unit of 144 is being beaten by Erebor Axe Warriors. Actually, to be fair, these Erebor Axe Warriors are still fairly fresh. There's still over 100 of them. God, it gives me such Hobbit vibes, and I mean, I even though it's I don't know, the, like the Battle of Five Armies is so much like criticised for some areas, but I mean, I think the armor for these guys looks so great. I think they look so professional and just. I do like I like both the professionalism of like the Gold Dolgador army, but I also like like just this conscript sort of look of the Mordor armies and like Return of the King. And, uh, well, mainly the Return of the Kings where you see all the Orcs. But I wonder if these guys kept the same armour like when they were fighting in the war in the north. So I presume Dol Guldor was involved in that as well. Merka Track has been sitting. They'll just be easy, easy kills. For this Erebor Axe Warrior unit. Which really needs to go in and take out this uh, small Gordor Blades. And then they could probably maybe flank around. I mean they could flank around here. Take this uh, this Blades unit out. These Pikes can focus down though. Look at this. 125. And they're going to be getting lower. But they are ever so. I mean this unit here. It's obstructed. Because I think it can't quite fire around this uh, this mountain. Like this the corner of this mountain. And there you go, another Gold or Blade being sent back in just to slow these guys down. This is an excess uh, Dwarven unit. They might, well, I would say, if the Dwarves weren't deciding to make more defences elsewhere, I'd send up more here. They seem to be doing a lot of good work here. And, I mean, as I say that, there's another Spear Guard going forward. So, I mean, that's really good. They should keep sending forward stuff. I think they're doing quite well here. With the, they keep spending, uh, putting archers up here. They could do a lot of work. But Dunland's now sending over forces over here as well. Okay. Dunland is, what's Dunland sending over? It looks like maybe tribal warriors. 
Yeah, just mainly tribal warriors. We've got some Dunherd swords as well. Maybe he's giving up on his side a little bit. But we've got cavalry in here. We've got champion reavers. These guys are nasty. Again, another unit just littered with Urukai armor. But yeah, these champion reavers, they are nas a nasty, nasty piece of work. And what we've got coming in there? Well, Golder Glaives. Again, just focus these guys down with the uh, archers and you'll do just fine. They're going to need a lot more archers up here soon. And these dwarves just got knocked over. Oh, actually, there's not many of them left. This, they're not being knocked over. It's just that they're all dead. Oh, no. Maybe they shouldn't hold in much longer. They're starting to lose. The, dwar the dwarves on that far side are losing. They're winning here still. But they're, they're setting forward another spear unit. Spear guard. And looks like the champion reavers are going to come for them. Maybe. They've already lost a lot of men, actually, though. This champion reavers is maybe not so good against the dwarves. I mean, is anyone really good against the dwarves? They are really, really strong. Yeah, they're going to charge in the back of that unit. That tiny, tiny little unit. 33 men. And they're just getting just knocked down by the uh, cavalry. And then killed by the phantoms. And I think that's them gone. Yeah, they finally broken the first unit over on this side. But yeah, look at this. Gold Oak Glaive's losing again. Because they just keep getting shot at by these crossbows, I think. Actually, I think the crossbows are shooting the cavalry first. But the spears go in to basically replace where the uh, sword's left. But they're going to need another unit here because these Erebor Axe Warriors are losing. As are these ones now. Jeez. Uh, I mean, the archers can do okay in combat, but you need to spend every single bit of ammo. Shoot these uh, phantoms down. They're just... I mean, they're an issue. They're shooting a big blob of stuff here first. Goldor Blades coming in. I mean, these crossbows are going to be really good armor piercing. So this armor is just doing nothing for Dol Guldur. And there comes a sea of orcs here. And they're going to try and break through this gap here, which is... I mean, this isn't a breakthrough. This is just kind of the, the phantoms identified this gap. And now we're going to have two fresh units of Goldor Blades going through this gap here. And that flank's broken as well. Now these Erebor Axe Warriors are gone. And they're setting up more spears. Death be trying to set up more. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. And here comes some swords as well from that flank. Because they've cleared up over here. They've cleared house here. They might need to send one unit around to this side to help these spear guards. Because they did break through that first unit here. And they're now onto the second line. These Blood Avengers are still in combat. How many of them left? Oh, 50. 51. Jeez, they've hardly lost any men. I think they decided that they're only going to attack on this bit because they don't want to attack this flank because of the archers here. Which is not a bad idea. Yeah, I do like these. Look at these big, like, I don't know what you call them, like, well, just big, angry men, and then they just, like, cover them in, like, Urukai armor. Like, how can we make these uh, big wild men even more scary? Oh, let's give them Urukai armor and big Urukai axes. Doesn't stop the dwarves, though. They're too elite and disciplined to care about how scary they look. It's just keep on killing, and, like, all of them are just counting their own amount of kills, I bet. Looks like Gimli. He'd be so proud of it. But that spear guard's about to break. 35 men. It's about to go. And then, uh, well, I mean, they're going to be running out of other stuff. I mean, yeah, these uh, Blood Avengers are still a menace. They're going to have to send some swords around. Maybe they're just trying to weaken this side before, like, with reserves. Before they send it around. But they're sending more and more spears into this direction. They really are, they really are soaking up, like... As many troops as possible. Archers breaking there. How much ammo do they have left? Quite a bit. They have about a quarter left. They're getting cut down. Yeah, they're sending in some swords now. This is the new line being formed here. So many dwarves died in this area now. Yeah, they're down to 2,300. And there's 7,400 uh, forces of evil left. Jeez. I mean, there's not many reserves. There's a lot of crossbows, some spears. More spears on this side, more crossbows. Grim hammers to go up the center. Can they come up this slope? Surely not. I don't think that's a viable way up. That's like a direct, like, slope. That is a 90 degree. A unit is running from the enemy. Yeah, so these Grim hammers, they're nasty. I'm surprised the dwarves didn't bring more than just their general as Grim, Grim hammers. Because they are a nasty unit. And, like, neither of the factions have got great missile. 
like to stop them. But I'll get these archers up here as quickly as possible. Focus down everything. Everything and anything. Like these these crossbows need to keep firing just on into here. Into any blob where there's just a lot of enemies. But yeah, they're just breaking through. Dunlun here just keeps pulling through. Because that is definitely not a viable gap. I mean, it sort of is there. Here, but like, it's... Yeah, that's a bit dodgy, I think. There have been a few pull-throughs I would be not so pleased with if I was fighting. Look at that. The silvery armor against the dark black armor of Dolgodor. Yeah, I think these crossbows are now, yeah, these crossbows in combat. And I mean, they're okay, but I doubt they're getting many kills. And they've got a lot of ammo left, which is the more annoying thing. These uh, crossbows here should just fire and help their uh, allies out. Just kill all these gold door blades here. And they've got two units of spears here. This is a solid line. These Erebor Actroids, they keep losing because they keep getting flanked. Because they keep getting pulled through. And they can't kill enough of them quickly enough. And more spears coming up. They keep sending more and more spears up, and I don't know where these spears keep coming from. Really, um, maybe they're going to defend this spot here with a spear unit, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they can get over this slope here, this is a viable way to just get over. It certainly can get, uh, get up this side. Who knows, who knows, but I mean they keep sending men into this area here, and this is just becoming an issue. They can't keep holding this, I mean... I mean, they'll break Dolgodor if they do. If they can hold this, Dolgodor is finished. Um, but, I mean, Dunlun keeps sending a few troops in here. He keeps sending a few reserves. He's got his cavalry in here. Dunherd in here. They, they keep trying to... Yeah. They keep trying to resurrect this defense. And it's just not going to happen. They keep finding a way around. Like, these Dunherd swords here, they've got a way around. There's a way around these spears again. They flank around on this right-hand side. Which they're going to do. And there you go, that sword unit got sent in. I do apologise, the camera is such a bit of a pain to just get over these mountains. But yeah, I mean, they've killed off this spear unit here, another the second spear unit. But they're now going to have to fight some swords. But I mean, these are all fairly bad units, apart from that fresh Dunherd. There's more fresh Dunherd coming up. Jeez. And more tribal warriors. Just constantly, just sending up more and more. These, is it cowboy firing? It is. They're just firing cheap shots at, like, everything over here. Just <laughs> Cheeky dwarves just firing cheap shots. I imagine if they have the artillery piece here. That would be devastating. And they got cavalry in behind now. Yeah, I mean, I I think they're pretty done for. I mean, this cavalry, I think, is going to go as far back as possible. It's going to go for a charge here. Surely it's not. It's going to go for a charge with these spears. It does look like it. The spears are forming up ready. And yeah, the cavalry's changed its mind. It's going to go for spears in the back here. Look at this map, it's beautiful. Just all the mountain ranges and the dwarves and the uh, men of Dunland fighting in the forefront and then in the background you've got the mountains. Actually, I think they're going to go up and take out those archers. So these crossbows here, have, uh, the, their days are over. But I mean, they're going to set up and possibly get one volley off. Uh, these cavalry as they come around and I mean these crossbows they could probably do a lot of damage they're triple chevron uh, as well I mean this cavalry is pretty beaten it's 27 men left it'll be interesting to see what happens but I mean they've got so much stuff here now these dwarves they can't hold back all of this it's just physically not possible they're good but they're not this good They can't pull off a miracle.
And there you go. I think they're pulling through again anyway. Or is this unit broke? Oh, it broke. Okay. The crossbows still not ready. I mean, there's, I think they're getting shot at. Yeah, the crossbows are actually shooting these champion reavers. So they might want to just charge in. They're a heavy shot cav unit. Yeah, these crossbows, just any time they get a chance, just firing at these guys. But yeah, they sent these spears in here, and I don't know why. They should have just hold this choke point here. They've got more crossbows coming across now. They just keep sending in little bit by little bit, and it's, uh... The pair just making another solid defense of them, like, up here. They wouldn't possibly get back these troops, I think. Try and get them back. I know they can't outrun them, but they haven't got much cavalry. They've only got these reavers, by the looks of it. So, I mean, trying to get them back would be a really good idea. And these swords breaking again. These are the Blood Avengers. No, they're done her chosen. The Blood Avengers are pretty healthy still. 46 men left. Jeez. Not even at half strength yet. But these chosen will do the job. They'll break through, you'd imagine. With all their wolf pelts. I mean, there's still a lot of time still in this battle still, apparently. So, I mean, the dwarves have got to m make a stand somewhere, it would seem. And it's, I mean, certainly shouldn't be here. If they keep sending troops here, they're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. I mean, these spear guard are losing. I'm, not surpri I'm surprised they're not being surrounded by, like, the Dunherd. Like, this Dunherd here should be going either into the back of this spear guard or into the back of this spear guard. Uh, this one's losing. Look, it's wavering at 68. That is unheard of for the dwarves. They don't waver until like 40s, 30s. These guys are elite. They don't. They don't do wavering. But this shock infantry is just doing damage, like no man's business. I also probably. Just, I think it doesn't help that they're being surrounded. They haven't actually been surrounded, but there's just the threat of it being happened. And look at this. These dwarves are firing off their last bit of ammo. And then now, now they're being sent into combat. You might want to keep that ammo for later. Like, they could have held here because the dwarves. This is a really good choke point. Hold here. And then hold against this bridge. They could have done a lot of damage. But no. And there you go. They are going to try and get these two units back. It's a fairly fresh... It's a fresh unit of axe warriors. And these spear guard might get back. But yeah, these archers are now being uh, sent in just to hold the line. So, I mean, that's smart by the arable player, I guess. But he could have done that with a spear guard. Spear guard would have got a lot more kills as well than it just fighting and being surrounded over here like these ones. Absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But what are the uh, numbers now? I mean, they've got six, uh, 1,600 men have the dwarves to fight 6,400. I mean, they've done well to kill this many. But I just don't think they've got enough. I do not think they've got enough. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, whatever happens. I mean, if they hold up there, those doors could probably hold forever. They just go back there. They could hold forever. Um, I don't know if this art... Uh, hopefully, the artillery crew is out of ammo. I think it is. It's been shooting at, like, at everything it can. How many kills... Oh, I can't have a look and see how many kills it's got. I'm sure they've got... Uh, like, I hope at least one of the onagers has got, like, 100 plus kills. That cab's got around. Did that break through? It definitely has pulled through. I mean, they're desperately, yeah, like this. They just couldn't deal with this uh, crossbow unit, they're holding them all up. They're having to quickly try and, so they can try and force away that. This spear guard is now going to have to sacrifice itself to allow the axe warriors to get back. Which is what should have happened anyway. They shouldn't have really sent, like, the uh, archers in so early. You should have kept them back. I actually don't think you can come off this side. Like, you can get a unit up here, like some archers and shoot down, but you can't actually get like up the other side. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't look like you can. But there you go, the spear guards are going to take over from the archers and hold this position here. They need to stretch out, make this as uh, wide a line as possible, and then they're going to form a square. I'd at least have done it properly in the actual uh, pass instead of just like outside the pass, because these cavalry can get by and it'll go after the swords, which is what it's kind of trying to do. 
So uh, we'll have to see what happens there. But I mean, it looks like it is coming to a slow point in the battle. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. And then, yeah, in goes the cavalry. I mean, they're going to just get held up by the spears. As is the Dunherd. I mean, this cavalry should get killed off. But look, it's just pulling through. They didn't actually knock down any of those men. Because they didn't get a charge off. And they're going to pull through. So that's very dodgy, I think, by the uh, Dunland player. And then what they're going after now? I think they're going after the artillery crew. Which, I mean, again, the artillery crew's done what it needs to do. It doesn't need to do anything else. And those 40 men can die happily. If this unit gets back, that's a success. And it should. This, uh, this cavalry unit's not strong enough to do enough damage. It'll possibly kill, like, 10 men. men have given up and are running for their lives. Champion Reavers. They've done okay. They've done okay, these Champion Reavers. But, uh... I'm not being impressed. I mean, in the battle that I used them in, uh, which is against, like, the Rohan sub-mod, they did really well. But the Rohan sub-mod is a lot, uh... Like, the units in that are a lot weaker. But then Dunland's supposed to be one of the weakest factions. Here you go. You can just see as the dwarves. Battle on against the uh, Dunherd swords. The Reavers aren't even going to actually attempt chase this unit down. That's kind of a... Seems a bit of a stupid idea. You might want to try. But, uh... Who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to make a quick cut, I think, here. Uh, because it's gonna, they, this unit's going to get back. And I think the Dwarves are going to make their final defense somewhere now. It'll be interesting to see where. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a quick cut. And I'll rejoin you when the uh, next phase of battle begins. See you guys in a moment. So we're back. And the first... Winded, uh, wounded units, I was going to say, uh, are already engaging for Dol Guldur. Sending, like, I mean, there's a great uh, volley here from the uh, crossbows. Just destroyed this Goldor Glaive unit. We've got some Glaives and we've got some Blades in there. Glaives and Blades. These units are starting to rhyme. We've got some more Blades going in on this side as well. Looks like we're going to have some Pikes that are pretty beaten up and so, uh, various assortment of stuff here. But, I mean... Dolgaldor is pretty weak. I mean, it's already down to Dunland, who's, uh, I mean, he's setting up like a battery of uh, tribal youths here to jabby these uh, spear guard. But yeah, I mean, you can see, look, I mean, you can't even just see them all if you're like coming from the Dwarven perspective. But they are all behind that hill, just fiery, uh, throwing javies. Look at the sheer amount of javies here. This is insane. Um, but yeah, the crossbows, I think, are firing. Just desperately trying to, like, stop these guys from, like, getting too many kills. I mean, they killed eight on that side and three on the other. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Interesting to see how many of the kills they can get. I mean, like I said, Dunland's got most of the fresh units left. He's got, uh, he's got a few there. He's got some stuff knocking about back there. He's got another force here that's coming around, including an artillery piece. Uh, he's got, yeah, he's got a fair few just dotted around. Um, but yeah, it's about 5,400 against 1,100 men. I mean, the dwarves could do it. Uh, they were killing about 100, 400 men for every 100 they lost. So they just need to up that a little bit. But they're losing a lot here to Javis. Look at that. The student's already lost 30 men to Javis. Insane. Look, and they're just like, they're porcupines, these dwarves. They are literal porc porcupines. And they, yeah. Getting shot in the head, all sorts. That is ridiculous. There's a constant barrage of Javis, this is. Jeez. That is... How many are they down to now? 77. Wow. Uh, that was... That is kind of scary. I mean, they're doing... They've got more archers back there. Focusing down these uh, arable crossbows. They don't get many kills with them. But, I mean, they'll certainly get kills as they shot these guys here. That is scary. I mean, that's a good use of Javis. You use them in a mass like this, and you can just break through a, a choke point. I mean, it's almost like having Nafatoons. Um, but if they'd shot, like, from here into the side here, they would have shot into the side of these dwarves instead of head-on, and they've done a lot more damage. Yeah, they're now focusing down these units here. I mean, these are youths, or... Uh, they're either tribal warriors or youths. They're youths. So they don't really mind if they get shot. They're, they've done their purpose. They've lost all their ammo. Yeah, look at that. 68 men left. 
already beaten up. And then on this side, the actual firing's getting uh, into full sway now. Quite a lot of units in here now. Got pikes. Phantoms. It's, it's kind of just like a repeat of the initial fight that happened. It's deja vu. And a lot of these are the same units. We've got wraiths in here now. The sword variant of the phantom. Oh, look at that. Poor dwarf there is getting cut down. And he got stabbed. Excellent. Revenge. Cutting down a dwarven brother. They are starting to drop ever so slowly. They come out of formation, especially these dwarves. They're saving to uh, die quite easily. I mean, they should put them in the uh, guard formation. And they won't do this. They won't just fo come out of formation. Then they'd hold a lot longer. If they're Grim Hammers now, though, they'd rout so many men. They kill hundreds on their own, they do, those units. Especially at this point. Yeah, I mean, these spears just... Uh, well, they can't do anything. That's the thing. They're so stuck. I mean, this unit here, this tribal youth has ammo left. They might want to take that out before he gets up and starts jabbing more stuff. But yeah, these tribal youths are just, like, soaking up all the ammo of the crossbows. And that's just exactly what Dunlum wants. And it's smart. While his main force here gathers up. And he's got artillery ready to just get rid of the dwarves as well off that high spot. He's doing a really good job. Dolgo doesn't have much he can use. But Dunlum's kept a lot of his... Uh, cards of his sleeve ready to do exactly that just to get the dwarves off this uh, like defense and either get them to come down and engage or get them further up the hill the men are broken and are fleeing. but Dunland's now sending in his Dunhard, cho uh, Dunhard swords on this side as well I mean, it's only a matter of time until they break through. They've killed about 30 or so of these dwarves on both, in both units. But no. Yeah, about 30 or so in both these units. It's not going to be long until the crossbows have to be committed. And the axes here. And we've got the general, the Grim Hammers. Hopefully he'll get a fair few kills. He might need to go down on this fl flank quite soon. They already look like they're going to break through. The dwarves are having a really rough time. But yeah, I mean, Dunland's been used quite well here. I mean, it often I see uh, in like the Rise of Mordor community, a lot of people seem to dislike it, see it as one of the weakest units. But I mean, I know it's a 2v1 here, but they've done a good job in trying to stop, in uh, dealing with their Dwarven flank. They've uh, utilized their Jabbies really well, and their uh, Shock Infantry, and their Cavalry that they've used as well, but... You do think if they were facing a full Dwarven army, they would not stand a chance. They need to be like a, a support army in like an assault like this, like a 2v1. There you go, the artillery starting to fire. It's now focusing down this unit. Did he get any kills? Uh, I think he got like one. Let's see if it fires another volley. Can we have a volley? A volley, please? No, maybe not. There you go, a volley's been fired. Or oh, he's. I think he's manually firing. That one again missed. They're not getting any good hits here. That one hit. Only taken out uh, two guys, I think. But it's a quite a thin line, so I mean, you're not going to take out many. I mean, there is a few good s spots over here. Take out some stuff on this left hand side, you do okay. The crossbow side of fire as well. Taking out Dunherd. These spears, yeah, I mean, the crossbows are in combat now. The spears are broken. 
We're gonna have to send down the Grim Hammers for sure. Oh no, they're sending the swords on this side. Smart. Keep the Grim Hammers for the last, last defense. But I mean, they're breaking on this side as well. They're losing decisively. And they're actually pulling through. Oh, come on. Uh, this is a bit cheesy. Shouldn't pull through at this point. I mean, they're, they, they haven't, like, I mean, there's still stuff here defending the dwarves, holding them back. They were going to break through anyway. They're losing decisively. And they're now pushing in onto the uh, dwarven crossbows. But I guess that's uh, the evil force of you. They don't, fair, they don't fight fairly. That's why they're evil. They don't fight with honor. Like the men of, well, the dwarves or the men of Gondor or the elves. And there you go, those crossbows are falling back. Are the Grim Hammers coming down? They are. Here we go. We're going to see some real work done now. Some real work. These Grim Hammers will take some of these guys down with them. You wonder if it's a little too late for them and they're not going to get as many kills as they possibly could get. I mean, these crossbows are going to be getting racking up the kills there. Anything that comes up this hill, just shoot it as it comes down. They've got to just fire into the blobs like that down there. That's a blob and a half to shoot down. Yeah, all these units losing decisively. These are the Grim Hammers, I think. I mean, the Spear Guards are losing decisively as well. I mean, they've still got pikes, but I don't think the pikes have been doing too much in the way of work. They don't seem to be getting many kills. Um, I mean, the artillery here is still firing. It's not getting, again, not many kills. But, I mean, they can get it closer. The crossways can't reach. And they could get a lot better angles and, like, shots if they get closer. And you could manual fire. Here we go, the sword's now going on on this side. Tribal youths, we've got there's anything battered, the Blood Avengers, and some fresh Dunherd. But yeah, I mean, they, they've still got plenty of uh, Dunland, Dunland forces here. You've got all of this. They've got 775 men left of the dwarves. I don't think they've got enough. They've taken out about another thousand or so, though. So they've done well there. Yeah, and there you go. The general's already in combat, like, heavily in, deep in combat, and he's losing decisively. He should have stayed on top of this hill. Stay on top of the hill, you mad lad. Look at them. Glorious. I mean, you got units now... Well, yeah, the racer in behind. I mean, I don't know why these guys haven't pushed up. They have such a huge force here. Just push up onto these crossbows. And you take the hill. And you take the fortress. It does look like the Dwarven Secret uh, Mountain Pass is going to be taken at this rate currently. Unless something drastic happens. Well, I can't see anything happening anytime soon. They're, they're still quite happily firing over here. It's not even going to engage a spear guard here. I'd engage. Enemy general is dead. No, the Grim Hammers have fallen. Grim Hammer general is dead. His unit is already depleted. It's down to 25 men already. It's a real, real shame. These units are really good. Or oh, this unit is really, really good. And there you go. It's broken. It's gone. One of the most, like, best-looking units in the game, gone. Best-looking unit, and it fights well, put it like that. I mean, yeah, they've got all these blobs now at the bottom. They need to just push up, just get in there, just take that hill. And, uh, this side just, they just need to carry on fighting, just carry on battling away. I mean, these units are now losing decisively, I think, because their general's dead. I mean, they're also getting pushed through, just like no man's business. Like, that is... Yeah, these Dunherd are now just... Yeah, this is a push-through. This is a... This is a no-no, really. Getting all the way to these arable crossbows. If they had more units, you could make uh, the player be punished for this. You just surround anything that... Like, pulls through. You just surround it with another unit. And you kill that unit a lot quicker than he's going to kill your unit that he's pulled through.
the last few dwarves battling on hard to take this uh, to hold and just kill as many of these uh, evil men and uh, orcs just so their brethren inside the mountain don't have to fight as many. Erebor crossbows here, losing. I don't know what they haven't pushed up here. I don't know if they're just giving the crossbows more and more time to shoot every bolt they have. They're really having to throw everything in here. Like every single crossbow has been thrown in here. There's a substantial amount of dwarves here. I start firing on this side. There's a lot more dwarves to hit here than there is in this tiny line here. I'm just sending like units like the Blood Avenger. That's a fresh Blood Avenger. Send it in. They chop up this unit of uh, spear guards here with the support of some swords. There you go. Two units wavering for the crossbows. That's not good. And that unit broke. 101 men and it broke that's unheard of the dwarves and then you have it a pyrrhic victory for the forces of dunland and dolgordor so i mean well played to the dwarves um i think they were a bit hard done there there were some cheesy tactics done by the attackers but uh they did well they hold their own uh and they got some really good kills i'm just i'm just looking at some of the kills here and wow they've got some good kills um we'll have a look at them in a moment but Dunland first, I mean, he got like no kills on any of these tribal warriors. No surprise there. Um, his Dunherd, I think the best one got 114. Uh, his Dunherd chosen, like, so this one got zero kills and it got like battered up a bit. Um, his the Blood Avengers got 169. Yeah, but his Dunherd chosen, the best one got 79 kills. It's kind of surprising. Um, and then, he, yeah, nothing else really got much kills. And um, these tribal youths, like, together did quite a lot of damage to... Um, one of the uh, spear guard units, but they didn't actually get that many kills, surprisingly. That's kind of surprising. I thought, like, Dunland did a lot better. Uh, and Dunland, by the way, was uh, played by Coolbreeze, who was sent this in. So, uh, well done to him. Then Locksmith, who was playing as Dol Guldur. Uh, his uh, Dol Gul uh, his Guldur Blades, I think the best one, got 181 uh, kills. Uh, his Guldur Glaives, the best one, again, I think, 101. 107, sorry. Um... Uh, his uh, champions of Dol Guldur got 235 kills, which is very good for them. They're, they're a solid unit. Um, his Phantom's getting 77 kills, best one. Um, and his Wraiths, uh, where is Wraiths? Up there getting 97. His Guldur Pikes, 104. You could certainly hope his Pikes would do better. Certainly these two that got into the 30s. And then uh, his Artillery, I mean, he was mainly focusing down other Artillery, so uh, no surprise he got little kills. Uh, so well done to Locksmith and an Executioner who is playing as Erebor. His general got 149 kills. Uh, probably a bit a bit low for Grim Hammers. I've seen them get like well into the 300, 400 mark um, regularly. Uh, his Erebor Axe Warriors, there's a unit here with 130, uh, 145, 100, 267. Lots of them getting into the uh, 100s. I think every single, nearly every single one. And then his uh, Spear Guard, I think the best one getting... 166, I think, is the best one. No, 213, 238. Jeez, a lot of them doing quite well, actually. And then his crossbows. Wow, his crossbows. All of them getting nearly 200 plus, nearly 300 plus. 507, 600, uh, 463, 628, 782, 540, 520, 300, and 229. Insane amount of kills with his crossbows. Insane. That's clearly where he's got all of his kills there. And then his uh, Onage getting 115 kills, which is not bad at all. So well done to Execution, especially with those crossbows. Uh, I can just tip my hat to you, sir. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this uh, battle, then please remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment. The Dwarves of Erebor were defeated. Their mountain pass is taken in their mountains are now under threat from the forces of evil. Um, but if you want to see more Rise of Mordor, do remember like support the channel and leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires,